Well, hello, hello. This is Victor, aka Mozart II. We're gonna go ahead and continue. Go ahead and play uh, the Ghostbusters, and this is part of my series. It looks like uh, the last time I was playing it was um, December 31st. Um, I'm still editing the videos. They should be up soon. Uh, so uh, bear with me, okay? Lots and lots of stuff I have had over the past couple of days and uh, got preoccupied with some of those things. You know how life goes. So normally I go through the firehouse and I usually check those emails. What I'm going to do and do right now is I'm going to go ahead and skip that. <clears throat> If, if there's anything uh, that you want me to go through, you can go ahead and just put it in the comments below. Um, but for right now, I think what we can do is just go ahead and continue with the story. Oh, I think I gotta go upstairs or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here we go. All right, here we go. What does this symbol mean? Oh, uh, God. Perfect. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, okay. okay. for one minute, pretend, pretend someone here doesn't know what mandala. Mandala, Mandala is like, is like a, a spiritual, spiritual labyrinth. labyrinth. And, this and this one looks, looks like a spiraling system, system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. point. Before, Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place, similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you have to make that clear. So, so this is the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructive form? That's... that's, that's right, right, Peter! Well, Dr. Bankman. Well, I had to get one right in did I mean, just mad. Or right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in a system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know, plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the subject. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing, and we're going to go back to the subject and find out what. Isn't that right? That's right. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when we were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside of the room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could, and then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shotguns and stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And, and what, what about, about you, you Superstar? Stop. I'm gonna have you drop him off your pack's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. idea. Meet us at the hotel when we're done. done. Alright, let's go ahead and get on with the rest of the game here. Yeah. This place, place where any more dead, dead, we need a court. He got used to be a licensed coroner. No kid. No it's, it's just a hobby now. now. Closed until, until further notice, notice by, by the Paranormal, paranormal Contract Oversight Commission. Peek. Entrance, Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden, forbidden and is punishable, punishable by fine and imprisonment. 
What, what now? now? Hmm. This, this notice, notice is for the general, general public. public. It doesn't, it doesn't apply, apply to us. To us. Hmm. We're bonded, bonded contractors for the city. Especially the, the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. All right, heat them up. up. We'll melt them away. Wait, wait. I have a better. Opening the door. Good thing. <laughs> One thing here, just need to make sure if I can get any other upgrades, I can go ahead and do that right now. Well, it looks like I'm a thousand short for either or, so let's go ahead and go on. Oh, that's right. Any collectibles? Collectibles, where are you? I know the first collectible we had, like, the first time we were here, was in this general area. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think they're a threat. They may only be residual models. I think Ray is right. They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just psychokinetic echoes. Ghosts and ghosts. Completely harmless. Great. I was hoping we'd meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'll settle for harmless right now. I'm getting a strong balance like higher up in the building. Go to the 12th floor. Well, I got something over here. Uh-oh. The pants. Alright, let's see. What is that artifact? Is it the bottom? Yeah, possessed she bell bottom jeans. Let's see, 1970s, rumored to be the first been haunted, have been haunted during a seance at the Mary Pranker's tour bus. These jeans have a long stable psychedelic, supernatural underground, spotted backstage at Woodstock, caught in the grainy 16mm film, kind of lit background. Hmm. Walking pants. So the pants themselves were walking around? Yep. <laughs> wow. So these, these haven't been seen since 1981. Although... I'm kind of wondering, should I slime? Just slam it. Get rid of it. I know this is probably not even part of this. The what do you call it? The mission. Just wanted to slam it. Anyways, let's see. Is there anything else? I know we're supposed we're supposed to go to the elevators. Yeah, the last time. Uh, well, I guess like the first time we were in the Sedgwick. There was a like a bell or something that we had from the front desk. Ghosts were running too. Hey, 
Looks like we're gonna end up taking the stairs after all. think that these ghosts that are going around that the meter would be going crazy okay A professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. What are you still doing here? Why didn't you evacuate with everyone else? I came back last night to retrieve some payroll records. The hotel won't let me out. The door's shut up. And the phones are down too. That means we're trapped down too. And we have to hope that Peter figured out what this is. There goes the weekend. <laughs> Not necessarily. The 12th floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back, then we can take the elevators. If the elevators don't need us. Yes, yes, if the elevators don't need us. Where are the circuit breakers in this place? We don't have a lot of time. Breakers. In my office. But the city can't turn off most of our power. The electrical fire on the third floor. There's no way to turn it back on. You're not just kidding me. We've got to find some way to get the elevator to move. The place that we've been to beforehand. <laughs> I guess that's one way to like kind of reuse everything. I'm just gonna go over here. I think is this where I got the jeans? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I'm not missing anything. Interesting. What are those? Webbed Fiend. Interesting. Class 5 web fiend. I don't remember those. I played this game so many times too. Outwardly human humanoid. An appearance web fiends will draw upon KP Ritter to alter their appearance in order to present a terrifying visual village that can cause those weaker will to flee as they as, ah, as though they are trapped in between two worlds, Web Fiend quickly trans transition between the ghost world and the physical world. Just don't be there when they do. <laughs> they're too... Okay. Where's the other one? There it is. It's really weird because they do explode. Dude, like the AI in this game is a little interesting. That's all I'm going to say. Right. 
the heck? Just screamed and then fail? Okay, guys, that's seriously. <laughs> I just came from here. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything, guys. That's not weird at all. Flipping nutty. Nope. I gotta move that. Let's see. Ah. Um. There was a way to grab something. There we go. Ah. Cursed artifact. Cruel oven. There we go. Let's see what the cruel oven. Cruel oven. The origins of the evil cooking device are unclear. What is known, however, is, it, is that demons and devils apparently love a home-cooked meal. Hmm. It's crazy. So there's a way that you can, um, like, pool. And I know it's with the regular stream. So I was able to push the with the red stream. Ah, okay. So on the PlayStation, in order to move up and and down certain things, like this, I'll I'll push R2 and L1, and it grabs that object, and then you can pull it and do whatever, and somehow it just disappeared. Interesting. Okay. So I, if I wanted to grab this particular thing, if it was programmed to, you know, float, I can pull it. Just like how I do with the ghosts. But it doesn't look like certain things are programmed that way. Anywho. So they're definitely slime. It looks like we got floating stuff everywhere. Interesting. I'm not going to take any chances. Take care of that slime there. And I'm pretty sure those things are going to fall once I go to a certain point. But uh, the only reason why I'm doing this is because sometimes those ghosts will come out of the slime. Definitely a lot of slime here. Oh, well, there's a freezer. I don't think I can get in there. I'm guessing that's the generator. Let's just make sure we don't miss anything. Whispers are crazy. Yeah, it looks like it's straightforward. I would, I would have think that, or I would have thought that there would have been something like hidden here somewhere. But it looks like there's nothing there. Ah, uh, I wonder where the generator room is. Could it be the the door that says generator room? <laughs> okay. 
Hey, look, rats. Do we want to drink some water? Let's drink some water. Okay, guys. Let's continue. Hey, guys, the generator room is over here. I think they can hear me. Well, normally I don't want to just sit here in water, you know? I'm guessing we're gonna have to do the There we go. Let's see if yeah, got it out. That's weird though. I thought I would get like a little bit more, more ghost. What the heck? I mean, I like it. It's pretty cool. Oh, great. I did say it. I did say more ghosts, didn't I? <laughs> Where is he? Oh, crap. See what I'm saying? They open those tunnels. So if anybody's played like Gears of War, there's, there's aliens that dig from the ground. It's the same thing. Oh, this guy just like a regular guy. Come on, boy. Get you in my trap. All right. What's going on here, guys? Ah, no! Mission failed. Reload checkpoint. Hopefully, it's not that far. I think it, it should bring us back to the, uh, what do you call it? Right after I did the, you know, turned on the generator, hopefully. <laughs> oh, man. I was more, uh, concerned about trapping that ghost, getting rid of it. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Okay, so maybe... I don't know. Where's his helper? I need his helper. Crap, I forgot. Oh, 
Where is he? Where'd he go? Where is he at? Okay, he's out. Ah! See, and that's what I have to worry about. That was a weird jump. Here we go. Come on. In my trap, bro. Right in front of him. At least that will be okay for me here. Dude, go into the trap already. Jesus. Again. <sighs> okay. I guess I got... I think I know what I do need to do. I think I need to... Weaken both of the ghosts. Yeah, I think that's what I gotta do. I think I gotta weaken both of the ghosts. So that one of them is kind of like... Kind of knocked out, and it gives me a chance to like trap one of them, at least to get rid of the cook. I don't care if it's my trap or not. <laughs> Ideally, I guess it's not about staying in the same area and then just getting rid of all the trash and everything. Seriously? Come on. I really need to just get this guy.
There we go. Damn it. As long as none of them get disabled, we should be okay. Where is he? I'm going, guy. I'm coming, Winston. I'm coming. More than the kitchen is clean. I think we did demolish the, <laughs> the kitchen, but okay. Anything secret in here? After we uh, put on the lights, doesn't look like it, huh? Oh, that was stressful. I swear, man, it, I didn't even, I don't know. I guess it gets a little more difficult because you gotta switch in between those different weapons that you have. So it kind of makes you think. I honestly don't remember some of these ghosts, though. So it's kind of caught me off guard a little bit. The same area you see look same freaking area hold on whoa cursed artifact swiss uh swiss swiss death clock let me see. Do, 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 do. The infamous Swiss death clock was constructed by Herschel Gluck. Gluck. Genius, but demented watchmaker. It was intended to show the exact time of death for anyone that comes near it when placed in the firehouse in close proximity to so many past life entities. The clock hands spin out of control. Peter uses it as a death fan. <laughs> And we will slime this area. Just in case you're wondering what I'm looking at, I am looking at the back of my pack. This thing has, uh, I'm guessing, like a reload or a maximum. That it can blast, so anytime I have to like let out some of the pressure, and that causes it to uh, those red marks to 
you see how they're green right now they're going to yellow then they'll turn red if they go all the way to the top it'll cause like this area of where it's kind of reloading but it takes forever so let's go to the next part now who else besides me thinks it's a bad idea to go up in an elevator <laughs> well the whole hotel is like kind of possessed just because I, I don't want to do it I feel like we're gonna get stuck well, let's see what's on the floor. I pressed 12 imaginarily Do 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 So this is kind of weird. It gave me an option like if it was a like a movie, but not. Why didn't they do the rest of the game like that? In here. Let's get this ready. Come in. Yeah. What's up? 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 I get it now. Spiders. So these are vermin entities, corporal, dispersible, close relative, uh, relative of the venom crawler spider crawlers are physical manifestation of the vermin spirits through a different order hmm encounters with these have only been recorded on the ghost plane where they are, are usually the heralds of other more dangerous powers interesting i'm wondering what those the symbol like that skull symbol with the three at the lower left hand corner is all about interesting so the weakness is the boast and dart which i believe is the uh 
what do you call it? Our blue stream, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, you know what? I didn't think about this. Let's see if we can upgrade. Yeah, we can finally upgrade. I don't think we have everything. We might have a no. Oh, no. We might be able to. Look at that. All right. And I think that's the... Well, that's it for now. Unless there's some more stuff. There might be some more stuff. Who knows? Um, but yeah. So I'm guessing it's the shock one. And then we have the... The overlord. Overload. That one was the last one that we got from the last boss fight. It's like automatic weapons or something. It's cool. It might actually help. Oh my god, it's a dingleberry. I would not want to be in this area. In real life. <laughs> I know my lines would be like, we're not in Candace anymore. Oh, the leeway! Okay, so it is good. But... Reload speeds. No mas. No, this is crazy. I feel like I'm in a... What do you call it? A scene from, like, Beetlejuice? I don't think we can. This is crazy. Seems like it might be that way. Uh, we're gonna go this way anyways. Wait, I thought... It, okay, no. They were just like little artifacts. Well, rather to hit you and save you. Dude, I don't remember this level at all. I did beat the game. Man. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What? We're getting close here. Hmm. Unruly beard of who? V. Belsuk? Russian demonologist. Performed exorcisms throughout the central Russia in the 20s and early 30s. He never noticed that one of the very minor sub demons he cast out had escaped into his beard. A massive wildness that stirred envy into most men. Upon his death, the Upon his death, the possessed, possessed beard left 
Bilsakus face and stowed aboard a freighter to the Americas. The beard has a tendency to affix itself to the chins of unknowing victims while they speak to mock them, but rarely does any harm, I guess, happen to them. Cool. So it's a beard. Interesting. I'm just going to go this way. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Uh, I almost missed this, guys. So I'm guessing... So let's go ahead and go back to where we were. I I thought that the... I guess where I needed to be was on the other side, so that's why I turned this way. But at least now we're going to go forward in this level and possibly, I guess, maybe a boss person? We'll see. Here we go. Slime! All right, here we go. Uh, gonna be a big ass spider. Watch. I'm having like dungeon siege vibes here, man. Would make you think it's a spider. I don't know, the spider web. Here we go, guys. Explore the spider witch's lair. <laughs> Where's the door I just passed through? <laughs> uh, we have stepped into to the realm of Skyrim, guys. Why do I feel like the halls are huge? I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be more upgrades, guys. Uh, I guess it's one of those. So I'm going to have to follow my meter. Of course, we probably can also find artifacts, I would think. Whoa! That was the biggest spider I've ever saw. Hmm. I know it's in the middle room. Need to scan it. What the heck? Where'd it go? To the right. 
This makes it very interesting. I don't know if I like this one. Well, it... Okay, so it's gotta be... Yeah, it's gotta be on this side. Dude, seriously, I feel like my shotgun does more damage. I'm over here. <laughs> Hang on. It's weird, it's like in this particular area. Wait, I lied. So we here. We failed, didn't we? Oh no. Yeah, we failed. Ugh. This episode is uh, tough, guys. Tough. At least now I know what I gotta do. This one is kind of weird because it's like I gotta keep moving. I guess you would think that it's since I have all these upgrades that I would have a little bit of a, a better chance of damaging the ghost a little bit. The one thing I didn't do is slime. I guess we'll see what happens then. Ah, it doesn't even look like it's doing anything. So... Did she disappear again? Oh! I swear. I think I'm gonna have to go regular proton.
Jesus Christ. She just came out of nowhere. Okay, I got it. So that's the blaster and then power blaster. There we go. Dude, that was kind of crazy. So it wasn't a ghost that I could trap. It was a ghost I had to defeat. It only took us a couple tries, right? <laughs> Interesting. So there's too many areas. Everything seems pretty normal. Looks like we're back in the rebuild room. Make sure that go 